Ah, but the end is never the end. So we're back. To push more buttons. This time, I'm going to just follow what he says and see where that gets me. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Yes, and being alone, it's my greatest fear. No more touching all the walls. When just going Stanley straight for the door on the left. Open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep, I had already done that. Alright. We're skipping 420. We're just going straight in here. Yeah, there was not a single person for a sprint. Under. Talk less, don't Feeling get fired. Okay. Sorry. Stanley I don't mean to just ramble to on all the time. Oh, I can Coming go down. To a staircase, nope. Walked upstairs nope. To his just going up. Office. Just following orders. <laughs> because that's what I do. I'm a good boy who follows all of the executive bathroom. Huh. Who follows all of the voice in my head's orders. Because there's nothing else for me to do. No, it's Stepping different. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, oh, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned truth? it an extra secret pin number. Two. Eight four five, but of course, Nailed Stanley it. did incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the oh, correct code lockdown. by sheer luck. <laughs> yes, Amazing. sheer luck. He stepped into the newly opened sheer luck passageway. Uh, it hasn't opened yet. Oh, over here. Gotcha. Sorry, I was uh not looking this direction. All right, now we've entered a new place. Start clicking on everything. Oh, some insulation that we can wrap around our bodies and cause a severe itching storm. Hello? I can't really see over here. Am I going the right way? You'd tell me if I was going the wrong way, right? No? Okay. Okay. Down we go into the creepy red elevator. There's only one button. You go down and you can never come back up. Here we go. Oh. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Yeah, it was it is a kinda... stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt mm. more free to can't see my feet. himself. I can't see my feet. The nature of his job. Why did he oh. feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Sounds good. Oh, that's ominous. Never going back up after I find out the results or the 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 truth behind all of this. Standing so I'm gonna die down here. The large mind control that read facility. Mind control facility. But. But. But I want to go to the scuppy. All right, following orders. Following orders. It's so hard to do. I don't know if I can do this. It's driving me nuts to do everything this guy says. <laughs> The lights rose on an enormous room oh. packed with television screens. Mm. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. No. I wanted to do the other thing. Oh, there's another platform over there. Hello? Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to fire. Their true nature revealed. Number Each 104 bore the was number fired. of an employee in the building. So was Stanley's that guy. Co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where am I? What was I, 427 or something? Huh? What is that? I wish I was, could zoom in. Alright, next platform, because... Oh, uh, 427, right there. Come on, change. Change back. Was I 427? I can't remember. Oh, well, there's no one in that office anyway, so it's not following me, it's following the offices. Okay. Bloop. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. Gosh. No. He oh. refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? 
Probably, most people do. But following these orders has been the hardest thing I've ever done <laughs> in a video game, probably. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, bleep, bloop. or content. Bleep, bloop, bloop. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. I like and the as the cold bloops. reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For bleep, bloop, he bleep, bloop, would dismantle bleep, bloop, bleep. the controls once and for all. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Oh, I want to go down there. That looks like fun. I guess I have to go dismantle the controls though, right? No more aimless wandering to the power facility? Facility power? Maybe? Hello? Bleep bloop? No, oh, there's a button. Five? Oh, I guess I have to push them in order. Mind control, idle, input, awaiting input. Okay. I'll go in here and do this, I guess. I really want to push those buttons back there, but... And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place <sighs> and to everything it stood for. It's so hard to follow these orders. I must rebel. I must do the opposite. Oh, man. One more black screen of death. And then we're done. No? Hello? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? No. It's never over. The end is not the end. Yes! He had won! Oh. He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone What's else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed oh, from I guess the machine's walk. grasp? <laughs> what other mysteries did this strange building hold? Outside. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized Beautiful. none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power mm. that he had nah. been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. This is intense music. Oh my gosh. No longer Trees. Would anyone tell him where to go. It's beautiful. What to do or how to feel. Yes. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all. We're on a farm? It was what the heck? the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh. I'm trying. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. It's so nice the out immense here. Possibility of the new I could play this game for him. This if was exactly a game out the here. way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Now we go to the white screen of death. No one will tell him how to feel ever again. And Stanley was happy. Oh, I got the achievement to actually beat the game. Okay. I should probably look at those and see what I need to actually do. But then that's kind of ruining the exploration part of it. We're back in here. I guess that wasn't actually the end. It never ends. All Anything of else new? Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Was that the path I've always taken? I feel like I've just been going straight the whole time. Did they change stuff around and I just didn't notice? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, and I'm gonna go down the stairs now instead of up the stairs. I think that's the next plot of action, course of action. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling okay. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided oh. to go up to his bot. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, I but can there was the nothing here. Now. So he turned around and got back on track. Is that nuclear? Some sort of nuclear wire? There has to be something there was in here. here. Please. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No, no reason to still be here. I'm shutting myself in. I'm gonna stay in here forever. You'll okay, fine. I'll leave. I have to go figure out what I'm doing. Down the stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ha ha! I'm walking downstairs. Tricked ya, ya punk. Fire hose. Red light. 
I'm gonna hide under here, and he'll never find me. Never mind. Can't hide very well. Hello? But Stanley the car. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Can't open he the might car. be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. This is lunchtime, or going Stanley. home time, because it's like, no? he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking Coffee mysteriously nap. out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. It's and just because Stanley we're in a computer this, and the internet began to make ran out. Other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> I asked why that earlier. Why did close automatically behind him wherever he went? Yes, I've asked and for that, that too. Matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Wait, Stanley are they said repeating? to himself, this One, is two, all B4. too strange. This can't be real. One, two, and at B4. last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. I'm this in a is all a game. dream. Aha, yes. Oh, Car what again. Relief Stanley felt to have right. finally found an answer, an explanation. And he makes another left his turn. Co-workers were and he's going around gone. the bend. He wasn't no, going to lose his job. Was just a he wasn't crazy after all. Mm. He thought to himself, yeah. I suppose I'll wake up soon. One, two, I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing back. Time hasn't really advanced much. I may much. as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. Oh. Oh. Then he imagined himself this. soaring through space on a magical star field, and oh. it too appeared. It was so it's much beautiful. fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was oh. he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest Science question of them magic. all entered Stanley's, Stanley's a wizard. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. What happens if Why I go the other way? Why is there a oh, voice no. in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? I asked that now first. the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm <laughs> dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. This and when he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? I mean, I'm Stanley not taking enough left turns, right am now, I? As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. I think the they just built a bunch of corridors. to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else that would the voice exactly explain the all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he um, closed his eyes gently. And he invited know, himself to wake up. Okay, he felt the cool I can't move anymore. The blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air <sighs> of the world outside this one. Like the one Let I used to wake know. Up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I wonder if this is some sort of thing about the uh, the developer of the game and how he felt about his job or the developers. How Stanley they felt about their job. Screaming. Please, someone wake know. me up. My name is Stanley. Oh, gosh. I have He's a boss. I have an office. I am now. real. Please, just someone tell me I'm red. real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh. Well, that delved into a lot of chaotic thoughts. This and is the story of a woman things. named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Mariella Parable? She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man 
who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although oh. she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and how what is die. It was comforting sort of to brain think tumor? this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered <sighs> the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Hmm. Gosh, the writers of this game are actually pretty dang brilliant. I don't know, I like... I'm liking this storytelling a lot, and their method of storytelling is actually pretty good. Well, it doesn't say the end, but... I guess I keep pushing forward now? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley hmm. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No yes, matter how hard Stanley memo. looked, guy's he couldn't gone. find a trace of his co-workers. All right, uh, press on. I don't know what to do now. Maybe I can open 420? I really want to open 420. Stanley went around <laughs> touching locked. every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. All right, we've, we've heard that before, so I guess, hmm. What to do, what to do. When what Stanley is... came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yes, and Stanley yes it is. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps because he wanted to stop by I'm the employee lounge take a first, left in that one place that I could take a left. Yes. Okay. The lounge employee was lounge sublime, with this stupid a work of art. dip down thing. But eager to get back to business, Stanley and took the first open door on his left. I'll take the first open door on the left. And so ah. he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, Bloop. and got back on track. Nuh uh. I did this. I pushed the big red button. And I went down because I ain't don't listen to anything. Jeez. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get yep. even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um. From here, it's um left. Left? But I don't want to go left. I want to go this way. Okay. Well, I guess there's only one choice, and oh, that no. means there is no, no choice. No, it's to nope. the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why uh, would I have ever said it was to the right? What stop was toying I thinking? with me, it's you crazy clearly... voice? Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll just fiddle with this ladder and bust Let's up some pipes see. while I'm Went waiting. Down, right, left, down, left, right. It's like following yep. some sort yep. of choose-your-own-adventure okay. okay. book. Yes. <laughs> I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. Okay. What's this? Ooh. Can I drive that? I just want to drive a car. That'd be crazy. Well, I mean, it'd be the most normal thing in the world. No! 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 This isn't right oh. at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. 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 okay, okay. I can't just seem to close them. Back to um, yeah. Who am yeah. I it's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Employee How about one. rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, just we'll just restart the game from day. the beginning. And this time, okay. suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. But it's so from much the fun! Top. All right. Well, that's one more uh, branch of this game taken down. So I may or may not come back to it. I'm still gonna play it. Who knows what I'm gonna do? It's uh, 11:22, 11:22. Eleven so I guess people could be at lunch. They could all just be at lunch, even though Stanley's already done a bunch of crazy stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, this game is nuts. So <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.